Stop. Are you having brain fog, brain fatigue, or mild cognitive impairment? This could have happened 10, 20, 30 years ago when you had a concussion. A lot of clients come to me and they have brain fog and fatigue, some kind of cognitive impairment, and then I start doing a detailed history and they've had a concussion in the past. Now, the concussion doesn't need to be where you were knocked out for five minutes. It could be just a slight concussion. You were in a motor vehicle accident. You got whiplash. You had some kind of trauma to your brain and now it's affecting you. What the current research shows is your brain can be what they call primed. Now, really what happens is way back when, 10, 20, 30 years ago when you've had this injury, your brain is primed and it's set up for easier insult, meaning this. Any subtle insult now in the current day, present time can cause your brain to be more inflamed. And when your brain is in more inflamed, this is when you're going to have brain fog, brain fatigue, dysautonomias, and you're going to go to doctor, to doctor, to doctor, but no one's actually going to know what's going on because no one's actually asked you about have you had any concussions? Were you in any motor vehicle accidents? No one has addressed your neuroinflammation and concussions cause significant neuroinflammation over a period of time. So even though you might have had this injury 10, 20, 30 years ago with no symptoms, today in present time, that injury could be affecting your brain. If you've enjoyed this content, please like, comment, and share this with a loved one.